In this video, we'll take a look at how to start using the DevExpress Silverlight Pivot Grid Control and how to bind it to an OLAP server using the XMLA Data Access Standard. So let's get started. I'll start by creating a new Silverlight application project. From the toolbox, I'll drag and drop a new Pivot Grid Control onto the page. I set it to fill the entire available client area. Next, I'll add a reference to the devexpress.pivotgrid.xmla assembly. I switch to code view to create a data source and assign it to the pivot grid. I start by creating a pivot grid XMLA data source object. The connection string property is used to supply the connection string that will be used to bind to our sample data. Let's take a look at what each parameter does in the connection string. The data source parameter is the path to the data pump, a middleware component used to access data via XMLA. We use a data pump configured on the demos.devexpress.com server. The initial catalog is a catalog on the server where the required cube is stored. Finally, the cube name is, as its name implies, the name of the cube to connect to. To finalize the data connectivity, I'll assign the data source to the pivot grid control .data source property. Let's save and switch to design view. I select the pivot grid control and invoke the fields collection editor. Here I'll add three fields and specify their properties. These properties include field name, caption, and area, and will be used to map the fields and place them accordingly. And I'm done. I'll run the Silverlight application to see the results. Here it is, a pivot grid bound to and populated from an OLAP server using an XMLA data source component. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.